Endovascular neurosurgery refers to the treatment of problems with the blood vessels of the head or the spine. Examples of some of the pathology that we treat include brain aneurysms, arteriovenous malformations or arteriovenous fistulas of the brain and spinal cord, narrowing of the arteries of the neck and of the brain, as well as acute ischemic stroke. For aneurysms, we can either go into the aneurysm with a catheter, de de delivered there via either the groin or the wrist, and once we're in the aneurysm, deploy either coils or what we call intrasacular devices to block off the aneurysm from the inside. Alternatively, more and more commonly, we are using stents that go outside of the aneurysm to divert flow and keep flow in the normal artery and not go into the aneurysm. For AVMs and AV fistulas, which refer to abnormal connections between arteries and veins in both the brain and the spinal cord, we'll navigate a catheter to the pathology and deploy either glue or a substance called onyx to basically block it off from the inside. For narrowing of the blood vessels of the head and neck, we'll often deploy stents, again, de delivered via either the groin or the wrist to the site of narrowing to open them up and hopefully prevent stroke-like events in the future. And finally, one of the most common things that we do here at UPMC is the treatment of acute ischemic stroke, where patients can present acutely with weakness of one side of the body, difficulty speaking, and again, via the groin or the wrist, we go up to the site where the blockage is causing this symptom and remove it. I am humbled to be a part of a storied history at UPMC with phenomenal neurosurgeons, neurologists, and radiologists that have contributed substantially to the advancement of endovascular neurosurgery. From the early times of Dr. Charles Kerber, a very well-known radiologist that did his first treatments of AVMs with glue in the 1970s at UPMC, to the phenomenally innovative work of Dr. Tudor Joven in stroke most recently with the Don trial, to more recent trials that we are all a part of. I am again very humbled to be a part of a group of fantastic endovascular neurosurgeons and neurologists that do a great job with these problems.